Alright, so a brand new stand just came out, and it's actually called Planet Shaper. It's a pretty interesting stand, and it's a pretty neat concept, and I'm actually quite curious to see what it's all about. Anyways, to get it, what we're going to need is Crystallized and Master Ultra Instinct. Alright, first of all, you're going to need Master Ultra Instinct because you actually need it to destroy the Meteor. And the Meteors fall from the sky, as you see. Like, there's one right there, one right there, one right there. Alright, and once you actually manage to destroy one of the Asteroids, and you actually get the effect... You will have to switch to crystallize to get the stand. Anyways, for all of you visual learners, I will go ahead and show you guys how to get everything that I just mentioned. Anyways, uh, because I'm going to get Master Ultra Instinct, I believe the thing I needed was Hamon. Alright, 50k, and that's not too bad. Hmm, and the Dragon Ball, of course. Alright, now the next thing that we need is crystallize. Alright, to get crystallize, you're going to need White Snake, and you can just get them from using arrows. And then you're just going to have to go to the store and buy two Dio Diaries. Hey, there's a mini Alu here. How long has that been there for? Anyways, go ahead and use your first diary. You should get Sea Moon. And then go ahead and use your second diary. And now you should have Made in Heaven, which is uh, kind of broken right now. Alright, now once you have Made in Heaven, you're actually going to have to use your Star Gem right here. And once you use that, um, boom. And now you have Crystallize, which is exactly what we need for us to actually get Planet Shaper. Alright, so now you're just going to go ahead and use your Master Ultra Instinct to find some of these little, uh, little meteors here. And you're just going to open them. You can just use a simple attack to open them. And you have 1 in 150 chance to actually get the effect that you need to get Planet Shaper. Oh well, yeah, instead of Master Ultra Instinct, you could also just use Zenith if it makes life any easier. Alright, so it just took me so long to actually get this little status effect thingy. And, um, it gave a little sound effect as well. Anyways, once we finally have that, we just have to switch to the stand crystallized. Alright, and now that I switched to the stand crystallized, it just changes. Alright, so if we go ahead and see this for the Delta. A plus, S plus, S plus plus. Oh, this is interesting. Hold on, let me get back in my VIP server. Alright, so let's go ahead and use him for the first time. So this is what he looks like. Ooh. Are those feathers? He also has a pretty cool hat. And is that like a scarf or something? I see, I see. So as a planet ship, he has to make sure he stays warm at all times. Okay, that makes sense. Anyways, I looked on the Discord and I wasn't able to find any like a list of moves. So we're just gonna have to, you know, try and figure them all out for ourselves. Anyways, there's no Z ability from what I'm seeing. I'm pressing it. But when I press C... I actually get it. And I'm able to do it like every few seconds. And it, it works just like a normal um, jump. Anyways, I really want to test out this E ability because I've seen it before and it's crazy. Alright, you guys ready for this? Alright, watch this. Alright, so he starts off slow. And then he just starts getting faster. And then faster. And then faster. Oh my goodness. Alu, how are you still alive? I like it, Kaji. Anyways, let's test it on this boy right here. So, okay. Let's have a little slow. Okay, okay, okay. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is... I think this was actually worth the amount of time I spent trying to get this. He literally doesn't even have hands. He just has fingers. Anyways, what I just showed you guys was the E ability, which is the barrage. Now for the R ability. Huh. Anyways, that's pretty interesting. What are the cooldowns on this thing, though? I can't see them on the on the red side yet. All right, I'm pressing T, and I don't see any T ability. What about Y? What? What? So am I, like, in space? Or how did I get up here? How do I go back? <laughs> okay, I get it. You can bend reality. That's fun and all, but... It Taking me back down here. Okay, so is Y ability like just teleported me to the dang moon? Alright, what about B? Does that do anything? Okay, no V, there's no B. Let's try out the F ability. So when I press F, that was a sword. Give me that back. Alright, so when I uh, press F on him right here. Wait, what? Oh, he has Ultra Instinct. I forgot. Alright, now when I use the little sword ability. Oh. Okay, okay, that was pretty cool. Alright, it doesn't do too much damage, and uh, it just, just slashes him a little bit. Alright, the H ability, uh... Oh. Why do I have to kill me? It was my ability! I'm guessing I can aim that to someone else from a far direction. Alright, so I'm trying to press the button to use that ability again. 
And every time I try, it won't work. So I'm guessing I have to be like right next to them. Oh, it would be so useful if I could see the actual cooldowns. Anyways, I'm trying to use that ability again, but for some reason, I guess I'm not able to just yet. All right, so yeah, I'm trying to use that ability again, but for some reason, it's just not wanting to work again. Anyways, I believe I used the button H to do that. All right, so apparently the H ability on Planet Shaper actually like teleports everyone into space or something like that. The cooldown is really long, but I'll go ahead and show you guys it. It's, there it is, right there. It'll even damage me for some reason. And then once it's about finished, it'll just teleport everyone up here to space. Oh, oh jeez. Oh yeah, and uh, of course you can't forget the pose because you mean like what's a what's a stand without this pose? Anyways, when I go ahead and press G, um, oh, all right, that's a pretty cool pose. Anyways, I don't really know if this is like the best option for PvP. I mean, like it has some pretty cool moves, but I just feel like it's uh, a little less, I guess. Anyways, I don't even have a click move, which uh automatically is something that's quite odd so if you're in a fight the main things that you would probably use is like the the e and r ability oh come on i wanted to beat that guy up oh there we go <laughs> it's also quite odd to see a stand without no z ability because um the c to dash slash jump is a little odd but i mean i can get used to it i guess and most of the keybinds that i'm used to using just like aren't there so the keybinds for this guy is a little odd along with the abilities, but I mean, I still like them. Because I mean, I just love going into public service and just using this little beam. You know, let's just go ahead and do it again. I just want to, I just like watching everybody flying the space. Yes, you are all coming to space with me. Oh crap. Why was I the first one to die? No, that wasn't supposed to happen. Oh my goodness. I literally like made an entire planet full of dark matter or something. It would sure be nice if I could see the cooldowns. Also, who beat the living crap out of all Gator over here? You know, you know what? No, you're coming with me. Um, you know, I was gonna try and knock her off the map. I mean, I was definitely not gonna try and knock her off the map. But anyways, why is she walking on water? And she's not even walking. She's floating above the water. What is this madness? Stop cheating. You know, cheating isn't very good for you. Oh, she's lucky I don't have my H ability. Hey, you there, sir. That's not very nice. Let me punch you. Look at him, bro. Even the Shadow of the World Requiem is scared of me. Yes, sir. Hmm, can I fight Dio with this, though? Okay, no, that did not go well whatsoever. Well, for the checklist of uh, bosses, this thing could definitely not fight a boss to save his life. Literally. Oh, yeah, that reminds me. In the last video, I didn't exactly specify the fact that, um... Shadow Star Platinum Requiem or uh, Star Platinum Requiem is actually, um, he's very good at fighting bosses. Anyways, I can't really find much else to show you guys because this stand is brand new and I, I guess they're going to be working on it a little bit because one of the moves has like a five minute cooldown or something. I mean, it's all just kind of wiggity whack right now, not going to lie. Anyways, I guess this is all for this video, so I'll see you all next time. Adios. Let's go, come on.